Groups announced new action to combat pollution in the Tijuana River. We're talking about the Surfrider Foundation and a nonprofit, Unmar de Colores. They just wrapped up a news conference in Imperial Beach. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal joining us live now from the Tijuana Estuary, the visitor center there. What do they have to say, Kelly? That's right, and you know, the big announcement is that the uh, Tijuana River is now in the national spotlight. So here's what the Surfrider Foundation told reporters a short time ago. This river has been named one of the most endangered rivers in America, and we're really hoping that that will be a turning point to help elevate this story at the national level. And so that was Sarah Davidson, uh, who says, yes, people in our local area are very aware of the big issue of cross-border sewage and pollution, but she says people across the U.S. aren't as familiar with what's going on here. So the hope is being named as one of the most endangered rivers in America by the group American Rivers uh, will elevate this topic, and people nationwide will start paying attention. Now, Davidson was joined by Unmar de Colores uh, in making this announcement today. Uh, she says she's seen action taken after other rivers have been named to the list. So the two nonprofits want people to sign a petition to President Biden and Congress calling on them to fully fund the infrastructure it's going to take to fix the problem. So far, the feds have committed to spending $400 million, uh, but they're still in need of $600 million. Uh, she says this is a public health issue, an economic issue. The list goes on and on. It's also a national security issue. Um, the Navy SEALs can't train here in polluted waters when, when the flows are bad. Uh, border patrol agents are forced to enter polluted water sometimes for their jobs. Lifeguards are forced to enter to, to do rescues. And right now, uh, Imperial Beach Mayor Paloma Aguirre is in Washington, D.C. as part of a binational uh, delegation. And she told me uh, yesterday that she will be meeting with President Biden's staff today. So she says she is cautiously optimistic that these face-to-face -face meetings, that is, uh, will make a difference. As for that petition, we will have all of that information uh, up on our website here shortly. Just go to CBS8.com and click on this story. Kelly Hassett, all CBS8.